Hi guys, today I will show you how to make smooth eye transition in After Effects. There are two ways how to make this effect, it can be in or it can be out, but today I will show you both of these methods. So before we start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. This is really necessary to me, because your support really motivates me to make more useful edits and sorry useful tutorials and funny edits so i'm don't distract you anymore let's go to after effects guys after completing the tutorial i advise you to first watch it once to understand everything well and then repeat it because i forgot to mention some things at the beginning but i mentioned them a little later create a new composition and you can repeat my settings or you can put whatever you want but don't forget to put 60 fps because this is really important now add your clips and align it to the center. Just select your clip, press P and fix the position. After that just find the moment where you want the animation. Just say I want it here. So drag the second clip and put it down. Also don't worry if animation will be ugly, because you will be able to fix it, so don't worry. Ok, now just uh, turn on 3D and motion blur on your clips. Then select your first clip and click on this empty space, new and create camera with 50 millimeters. Click OK and cut it using combination Ctrl Shift D. And also create a select camera, again click on this empty space and create a null object. Now you need to connect your camera with null object. To do it just uh, take this thing and connect with null. And also don't forget to turn on motion blur and 3D for null object. Sorry guys, I made a mistake. Before turn on 3D and motion blur, you need to pre-compose your clips. So turn off it and pre-compose it. Click right mouse button, pre-compose and don't forget to put a tick here. And the same thing you do with your second clip. Now if you want to slow down your moments, uh, just uh, add fixer for it, but if you don't, turn on 3D and motion blur. For me, for my first clip, I don't need Twixter, so I just turn on 3D and motion blur, but for my other clip I need Twixter, so I turn off my first clip to watch the second, uh, go to effects and find Twixter and add to your clip. If you don't have all these panels, just select window, workplace and choose all panels and then the stuff will be appear. So now you just slow down the moment. Uh, to do it, uh, click on clock near the speed, go one frame ahead and put 25. Or you can put whatever you want. Uh, Twixter tutorial is already on my channel, so you can watch it. After that, again pre-compose the clip and turn on 3D and motion blur. Now you need to create a mask for your first clip. To do it, just select it and select pen tool. Uh, also don't forget to choose full for preview and zoom it using alt and mouse wheel. And just create a mask. After that, press Ctrl Shift N and press M on your keyboard. Now you see your masks, so for first one you select subtract and for second one you select intersect. Now you can come back your quarter quality for preview, open first mask and for mask feather put 10. Now you need to make an animation, to make it select your second clip, uh, press P on your keyboard and for position for the last one uh, put 100 oh, sorry 1200 
and align it to the eye center oh, sorry like this after that you can close position for your clip and open position for an old object uh, click on the clock go a few frames ahead and just zoom it to your character's eye okay like this so now you have something like this it looks very bad but now we can fix it okay first thing you should do uh, I <laughs> forget to tell you just uh, open again your fixer moment and uh, turn on this option to make your twixter move but if you watch my tutorial if you watched my tutorial you know about it so okay after that uh, fix the position for your uh, second clip press s select it press s and just fix it s and position but don't touch this option okay like this it also looks bad but uh, we will fix it now to make animation more smoother uh, select your keys for position press f9 and open graph settings here you can play with it and put whatever you want I usually use 19 for the right side and 70 for left side oh, it is too fast so we can change the keys drag them and drag the second clip again press f9 go to graph and put whatever you want now it looks good you can also fix uh, position to zoom it in i okay yes perfect and now it looks very smooth and beautiful now you need to fix these black bars uh, to do it just go to effects find motion tile and add to your second clip go to the settings and put 300 here and 300 here and put tick here and it's ready after that you need to fix opacity for the mask to do it select your first clip press M on your keyboard and change intersect to add and open your second mask click on clock near opacity and where the animation start uh, go a few frames ahead go to the end of the animation and put zero and watch what you have okay you need to fix it uh, select the keys press f9 and just make it more faster yeah, like this like this or you can also change the keys to make it more faster again f9 and fix it oh, like this and that's it you have move and beautiful eye transition in after effects
Also, I forget to tell you, I don't know what happened to me today. Uh, just open your first clip and also turn on this option to make your clip more smoother. And that's it. Yeah, it looks very smooth. I transition out has almost the same principle. Uh, also, but turn on these options for Eclipse at the beginning, if you can uh, forget as I can and pre-compose it. Also, my second clip need fixer, so I go to effects and find fixer and add to my second clip. Click near the clock, go one frame ahead and put 25. And then again pre-compose it. Now turn on 3D and motion blur. Click on this empty space, create camera with 50 millimeters, cut it using combination control shift D and also create new null object. Turn on motion blur 3D and connect it with your camera. Create a mask for your first clip, select it, choose pen tool, also choose full for preview, zoom it and create a mask. Again press Ctrl Shift N, open your and click M, uh, put for first mask subtract and for other mask intersect also open your first mask and put 10 select water for your preview and if your mask moves you can fix it uh, select your clip with masks press M and uh, click on clock near mask path then go a few frames ahead and watch where your mask is and just fix the position for a mask. Select it and fix it using your keyboard. Okay, and watch what you have. And that's it. Now just drag your for a second clip where you want the animation. For me it will be here and turn off it and uh, change the position for your first clip uh, click P on your keyboard and just zoom it in character's eye After that, turn on your first clip and go to your null object, press P, press on clock near position and go a few frames ahead and make this animation. something like this okay you can fix it like this okay also to fix these black bars go to effects and find motion tile add your clip and just repeat my settings and that's it to make this animation more smoother again select your keys press f9 go to graph settings and also put whatever you want or you can just repeat my settings okay it is too fast
it looks very nice and smooth. After these steps change mask opacity, select your second clip, press M on your keyboard and for second mask select add. Now you open your mask settings, mask opacity put 0, click on clock and go to the end of the animation and put 100. Then just select your keys, press F9 and watch what you have. You can also fix it. And it looks very smooth and nice. I hope this edit was useful for you. And if this is so, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your attention. See you soon, guys.